this was my attempt at building a Lamborghini back in the day compared to what they're building now. Um, yeah, this thing looks impeccable. Amazing, even. Hello, everybody. Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to a game that I haven't played in a very, very long time. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Guys, it has been a very, very, very long time. I think it's been over a year since I have played this game, but for those of you who have been with me for quite some time now, you would know that this is one of my favorite games ever. In fact, probably my favorite game of 2016. Um, I used to upload this game a lot, and a lot of viewers came to my channel or found my channel through playing this game. And um, I thought it's been quite some time, and I was kind of like reminiscing, and I was kind of checking out the Steam Workshop and what people are creating in the game these days, and how the updates and stuff were going, and I kind of decided Let's make a scrap mechanic video for old time's sake. Kind of like a nostalgia back to the back to the future, back to the past. I don't know. Just ah, it feels good. It feels good. I've been roaming around the world for the last couple of hours, just checking it all out and getting getting used to the game again. Because like I said, it's been a very, very long time since I've played it. Um, and it feels so good to be back in it. So yeah, today we're going to just jump in. I've downloaded a couple Steam Workshop creations created by other people, of course, because I was always pretty bad at creating my own creations. Um, and we're going to just check them out, see how we go. And hey, if you guys do enjoy this and would like to see or scrap mechanic on the channel then all you gotta do to let me know is punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups it's the only way of letting me know in fact my little punching the thumbs up phrase actually came from playing this game so ah fancy that it's good to be back though anyways let's check out the creations that we have in store for today um there's not many but there's some crazy ones crazy things that i wouldn't have imagined back in the day and we're gonna start off with something that's that hits close to home because this here is one of my original creations this here was one of my first creations that went like pretty viral on YouTube. It's the swag cycle, of course, and I honestly can't remember how this thing even works. One of these buttons transforms our bike. It wasn't that button. Come back here. Come back, come back, come back. Let's put you back down. Okay, okay. Um, let's try and get it right this time, shall we? So, that, 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 I want to get rid of you. So, which switch? Clearly not that one. Must be one over here. That one. There we go. So it transforms itself. Into a motorcycle. Oh, yeah. I forgot I automated all of this. Two. Goes into low rider mode. And then three. I don't really know the intention. Because this, this mode never worked. It was kind of like a tricycle mode. But this was my motorcycle. The best that I could possibly come up with. Um, it was pretty early after the development of the game. And that was that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't actually take much to flip, but that was that was the epitome. That was the peak of my creations. Well, I've gone and checked. Oh, that's right. And then we had like a phase two. We actually tried to build a nicer bike, which uh, ended up looking something like this. And I was using some very old mods. By the way, last time I played this game, it didn't really have mod support. You had to like play around with files to get it working and stuff. But since then, the game actually has a mod loader. So you can kind of just load in mods as you please. Anyways, I've gone and downloaded this thing here, which is kind of like an amazing looking bike. Much better than... Whatever that is over there. Um, it's a Harley. A Harley. A, a bike that I always wanted to create is pretty much exactly what I always wanted to create and never was able to. So um, I want to test it, take this thing for a ride. I want to see how much better this is than my cre create. Okay. We pretty much went just the same. Riding straight into a tree. But this thing doesn't flip because it's got this like suspension glitch, which I'm sure. Oh my God. The 180 turn right there. We've also got two switches on it. A nice little, very, very, uh, a very, very soft horn. It's not very tough, not very manly, that's for sure. Um, and the switch is not connected to anything. Oh, it's all good. But I love that ability to just turn on the spot. That's amazing. Um, I thought that we're going to patch the uh, suspension glitch. So it's actually really surprising to find out that after like a year and a half, two years, this game, this game came out two years ago. That they still never patched that, which I'm kind of happy about, because it lets you do some pretty cool things in the game. That's a really cool Harley. Harley. 
I wish I was, uh, I wish I had the ability to craft something like that. All I got is this. With my, with my weirdo. Bloop. I mean, mine does transform, right? This Harley don't transform. This ain't no transforming Harley. But it's, a, it's an actual functional Harley, so. I guess it has that going for it. And just for the record, that is created by No No GT. Or No No GT. No 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 T. However you'd like to pronounce it. Anyways, let's get on to one of our next creations. This one here caught my attention. It's made by... An interesting name. 136695028. It, it caught my attention straight away because this thing is incredible. I think it uses about six or seven different mods. As you can tell, a lot of these parts aren't your stock standard parts. They're very weird and different shaped and whatnot. Or at least as far as I'm aware. Like I said, I haven't played the game in a while, so I don't actually know what, uh... What's vanilla, what's default, and what's modded, but it's kind of like an Aventador, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant to be, a Lamborghini Aventador. It's got a similar body kit, or maybe not an Aventador. Is it an Aventador? I mean, this, this whole back section over here, that is definitely Lamborghini Aventador looking. Looks cool either way, or maybe it's a Centaurion. I don't know, but let's get inside of this thing. It actually has door- Oh, it's got the Lambo doors. Oh, that's so- Oh, I built my own Lambo back in the day. I should go and bring that in to compare the two, just to show you how bad I really was at building. Just for the whole point of comparison purposes, this was my attempt at building a Lamborghini back in the day, compared to what they're building now. Um, yeah. There's a subtle difference, a slight improvement of technology, and plus mine's only got one seat as well. Maybe mine's a little bit faster. We're gonna take mine for a quick little test drive. It actually turns quite nicely as well. Would you look at that? And what do these switches even do? Oh, my Lambo doors still work! Yeah! Well, they're kind of a little bit weird, actually. Oh, no, there they go. Yeah! That, that's, that's original engineering of the game, by the way. No mods involved in this build. There's my bonnet. I thought I was so cool having it, like, multi-tiered and stuff. And then we got our jets behind us! So we can cruise around in style! This thing... I was so proud of this. I was so proud of this creation back in the day. But by today's standards, it's nothing. Let's go and park him here. Because it's time. It is time to upgrade. Wait, what do we got here? Oh, that's the door. That's... Oh, we got a little booster in the back. That is a tough hook. It's got like an echo on it. And four. Oh, yeah. We gotta get that radio going for some stylish cruising. Let's go. Let's go. Let's test this thing out. This thing is amazing. It's actually, I feel like it's faster than my car, which makes me a little bit sad, but it is what it is. Do, do, do. And then we throw the, nope. I wanted to throw the, the booster on. There we go. There we go. How fast can we get this guy going? Kind of fast. I just love the look of it. Ah! Ooh, okay. Oh, oh god. Okay, we don't want to go off the cliff. I kind of like it up here at the top of the cliff. It's nice and flat. It's nice and simple. It's easy to cruise around. I feel like there's a lot of clash. Oh, the wheels didn't even turn. That was like a pipe dream back in the day. If you could get a car, if you could, if you could get your car's like wheel to turn realistically, that was like style back then. That was style points. That wasn't even expected, but get a load of this thing. It looks, oh, 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 clashing. Oh, that's still an issue in the game. Do not clash multiple creations. Otherwise, you get frame rate drop, like, ridiculously. But this thing looks impeccable. Amazing, even. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of the community. If only... Okay. I guess there's still that. Yeah, you gotta pick up the item to get rid of it. All right, let's move on. So next up, we're gonna be having a look at another vehicle, except this time it's a McLaren P1, which kind of looks a little bit like my old Lamborghini. It's made by a guy called Ancient Evil. If you'd like to download this for yourself, it's a pretty cool looking vehicle. Um, I don't really know off the top of my head what a McLaren P1 looks like, but it kind of, that's unbelievable. You know how much time would have gone into this? Oh, it's sensational. And then you compare that. Compare that. Ugh, don't even, ugh. Don't even look at, ugh. Don't even look at that. You know what? You know what? No, I don't want to do that. I wanted to, nope, nope. Where's the button? Where's the... There we go. I just wanted to, 
Go! Go, little one! Fly, my pretty! Fly! I want to just drive you off the cliff. I don't want to look at your ugly self anymore. Go! Go for it, my... Lamborghini? Do you have... Go! Go! Get off the side of the cliff! What? Oh, it's gonna take me with it! See ya, buddy. Now it's a flying Lamborghini. So, okay, I don't want to go down. See ya, buddy! And there it goes. Poor guy. Poor thing. It really didn't want to go down that cliff. Alright, back to the McLaren. Back to bigger and better things. We gotta check this behemoth out over here. It's crazy how big these vehicles are. It's just insane. Now, how do I actually get inside of this? It doesn't look like there's a door thing for me to enter with. In fact, we can have a little look like this. And I definitely do not see a little door hinge. So, let's just jump in through the window. Like a true racing car, you know? They don't, they don't got doors. You just kind of got to slot yourself in. Now, this thing moves with style. Ooh. Oh, look at the drift. It's a drift mobile. Yeah. Look at that. We should take this thing out on a drift racing course or something like that. All right. Can it go straight, though? That's the true question. No, 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 no. I think we're stuck. I think... Oh. I think we're stuck. At least this one lets me get out in one piece. All right. I'm not done with this yet. This one was like super fun, super fun to ride around in. All right, let's try that again. In fact, can I go inside the vehicle? Yeah, there we go. Look at this dashboard, man. What? No, 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 no. Let me back in. Let me back in. Okay. There we go. There we go. This is okay. Yeah, we don't want to drive off the cliff again. All right, let's zoom back out of there. This thing's unbelievable. It's so... Okie dokie. No! Okay, we're going down, boys! No! My McLaren! Oh. Thankfully, um, vehicle damage isn't a thing in this game. Otherwise, this thing would be in a lot of trouble. It's just stuck there, though. Alright, well, now's a good time to move on to our next vehicle, because our next vehicle... Where's my little launchy pad? Our next vehicle just so happens to be a flying machine! Now this one is made by Comrade... Comrade? Comrade Nova. Um, I haven't actually seen this one function, but look at... Look at that wiring. Ugh! Ugh! It's so complex! And I guess if I could compare this to anything out of my own creations, it would definitely be either my flying... <laughs> <laughs> my flying burger back when we went through a food themed building spree or our x-wing fighter both absolutely terrible creations i wonder if this thing still works I, I like i just don't know i don't know how much of my original creations still work um let's check it out though so we use this to get up to the top floor and this is where we drive it from now one of these oh that one there shuts it and that one there lifts it and if I remember correctly, we can kind of like fly around in burger form because ain't that everybody's like dream come true or what? Yeah, this is the peak of flying creation performance. You know it. Don't deny it. You know what's up. You know that that's the way to go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before I go any crazier. And then there's, of course, my X-Wing, which... It's pretty garbage. I'm sure people have made some nicer ones since then. But we're not here about those creations. We're here about this one right here. The flying machine. Which already is more functional than my burger, at least. Alright, let's test this thing out. One! Okay. Kind of gets us off the ground a bit. Two! Oh, okay. What? Hold on just a second. No, no, no. I just want to sit on the ground again. <gasps> it's got, like, it's got feet. That activates as you get close to the ground, and then they pull up as you leave the ground. That is insane! And then three. Oh, three brings us back down. And then the, the oh, that's insanity. Okay, and four. Ah, oh, it wouldn't be a nice vehicle without a horn, now would it? Check out the auto balance on this baby. This thing is awesome. All right. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go up. I want to go up. No, I'm trying to go up. Two. I'm pressing three. I was bringing myself down. Oh, snap. Are we are we about to... Are we about to crash the uncrashable flying machine? Oh, gosh. How did I mess this up so badly? All right. Let's... <laughs> oh, what is going on? All right. Okay. Okay. Let's get this thing back in the sky. Come on. Let's try that again. 
And two! See you later, McLaren. I'm heading back up to my Lamborghini up here. And we are back atop our plateau. Alright, I should keep that on. No, I don't want to go down. Why are you going down? Oh, slight little crash landing there, but it's all good. It's all good. Can I zoom up? Can I go first person view? Oh, I love the cockpit. Cockpit looks amazing. Oh god, I hit a tree! No! I can't see, I can't even see what's happening. Let's get out of there. Okay. I think, I think, I think, oh, yep, I'm stuck in a tree. I'm stuck in a tree. Okay, flying machine. It was nice having a play with you, but, oh. Hey, I just did so out of it. Anyways, last but not least, we got this vehicle right here. This is the Dragonfly, made by Adderhop. Now, the reason I've gone ahead and downloaded this, it looks very different to all of the other creations that we've looked at today. Um, but I've got a bit of a fancy for transforming vehicles, and this just so happens to be one. So, let's go and jump in here. As you can see, it's a truck. A very nice, very, a very nice, basic, and compact truck. It's got a lot of buttons here though, and I actually don't know what any of them do. So let's work it out together, shall we? One! Okay. I guess we go and pop those wings out. Two! Uh-huh, I see where this is going. Three! That is insane! And four! No, wait, that's five. That's four. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Oh my god. And then, of course, you got the horn. You got some jets. Oh, eight does nothing. Oh, eight's not connected to nothing. Neither is seven, apparently. Okay! This thing is awesome! It's a truck that turns into a flying machine. But I gotta... No! Oh, what am I doing? Pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Let's just... Let's just keep it. Let's not crash this thing. Oh, look at the little lights in the back there. That's awesome. Uh, I feel like we're losing balance a little bit. And we're losing a lot of frames in the process as well. Oh, man. Transforming vehicles are, like, amazing. I love them to bits. And the Dragonfly does not fall short. Unfortunately, though, with transforming vehicles, have always come a lot of lag. So, unfortunately, you can't have many of these going around in your worlds. Now, one of the, like, main things I was looking forward to in this game back in the day was survival mode. Because they've been talking about it for, like, two years now. Um, and it's still... It's still not here yet, but I'm thinking that when survival mode eventually does drop, I'm definitely going to do a series of it because this game is very dear to me. I honestly owe my YouTube career to it. Like this is really what kickstarted my YouTube channel um, and allowed me to make a lot of videos all the way up until today. So this game's great. It's one of my, it's like I said, my best game of 2016. And if you guys would like to see me play some more of it, just play with some more vehicles i probably won't do much building that doesn't really interest me a whole lot i just like seeing other people's amazing creations just make sure to let me know you can do that by going ahead leaving a comment down below if there's any creations you'd like me to check out or or there is there is another way you can of course go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it raise those thumbs ups Look at my hands quivering in excitement. But on that note, guys, we're going to wind this one up right here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you with another video very, very soon. Bye for now.